Muppet Show, tonight starring the best of the Muppets. I really felt at home in London. I rented a flat that was so small, even the spiders were hunchback. Ah! <laughs> to introduce the whole crew, that's what I'm here to do. So it really makes me happy to introduce to you the Muppet Crew. Woo! Show 25. I know you thought there are only 24, but this is England, and the dollar buys a little more these days. <laughs> this is just an itchy bitchy goodbye from all of us, but before we say that, let's start with Peter's very personal favourite. So sit tight as we get the show rolling with a real bang. No, 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 no. There is a Muppet News Flash. Dateline, London, England. The Muppet Workshop was broken into early this morning. Police are looking for a headless man with green freckles and a small whatnot. Do you think I could have a blow up at the show from my office wall? Of course. We can arrange that, can't we? Sure, no problem. Okay. Cute. Cute cake. And now over to scriptwriter's sanatorium. The continuing story of an author who's gone to Mimeo. Oh, Dr. Sharon, Dr. Sharon, we have a very sick script. Just as I thought. Not difficult to read this patient's symptoms. Will you operate, Dr. Sharon? <laughs> of course. Scissors, Nurse Richard. Snippy, snippy. <laughs> <laughs> cut that line for a start. What about that long joke over there? Yes, out with it. Obviously causing pain. Oh, Dr. Sharon, Dr. Sharon, the patient will never be the same again. You've just cut off his own credits. <laughs> How are you doing? Nothing can't be helping, Dr. Sharon. Give me some plaster and a splint. I'll strap up his commercial brain. <laughs> So join us next time when you'll hear Dr. Sharon say... By the time we've sewn up this comedy spot, you'll all be in stitches. <laughs> more! More! Less! Less! <laughs> you always were a mean man. <laughs> Suit. I'm just off to see Frank Oz. In Brooklyn? No, in Brixton. He was arrested last night after leaving the RCA building with 30 monitors under his jacket. <laughs> Didn't he ask for an adjournment? No, nope. another take. <laughs> what are we doing next? According to the student order, it's guest star blackout. No, 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 it's, uh, it's tea break. It's tea, break. tea break. <laughs> Let's join them. <laughs> The Scottish Daily Mail have sent a flower arrangement. Will you accept it? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Mr. Richard Hunt has just been seen in the studio. said to me the other day, he asked me to design a whole new set of costumes for him. Good heavens, doesn't he know we only design for the stars? Well, I told him. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
of your own. This place has gone downhill since the Muppet people left. Definitely a lower class of people. Yes, look. They've got legs. <laughs> I just went round to Barclays Bank. I walked up to the counter and I said, I'm a friend of Jack Burns. What happened? It didn't work. <laughs> Martin's organising a present for the Muppets. He just asked me if I'd be taped. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> Why do people keep laughing at me? I promised to post some things over to the States. I asked Dave where I should send them. Well, what did he say? Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Jack likes Pete Melba. His private life is no concern of mine. <laughs> they changed the shooting order, you know. Oh, who's going next? The scriptwriter. <laughs> That's it. A big production, right down the line. I sincerely hope it is. Hello, Ruthie. Have you got the workshop all packed up? Hello. Yes, that's all done. I had a great baking session last night. You see, I promised to send some home cooking, cooking to all the Muppet people. Yes, I've got an am amendment for Jerry Joe. Uh, a sardine sorbet for Dave Gould. Rhubarb and banana pie for Jack. <laughs> Chocolate stage blocks for Erin. <laughs> Bangers and flash... Poor crazy lovely. <laughs> Toad in the hole for Jim. Sweet and sour pork for Richard. Stuffed flowered peppers for Jerry Nelson. <laughs> American chocolate cookies for Frank. And the Swiss roller. Fine, but what are you going to do for Dave Laser? Ah, oh, that was easy. I've cooked the budget. <laughs> <laughs> Dateline Elstring. His dream was made today at a Muppet production meeting when Mr. Jim Henson made a definite decision. Hmm. And about time too. Ladies and gentlemen, direct from the booth to the floor, we present... So now that our show is nearly over there's just time for me to say farewell two pigs and two chickens two monsters two dogs to all of those humans and especially frogs we hope you'll return next year to join us if you can face some more british rain we know we can't start just when we finish but we'd like to do it again oh, now that our show is nearly over, we just want for us to say farewell.